Well, welcome guys, and welcome to Silent Hill 1. <clears throat> so this is one of the OG horror games up there with uh, Resident Evil as one of the grandfathers of horror. Although, of course, Resident Evil beat it to the touch. Beat it to the punch, rather. <clears throat> While Resident Evil went for more, like, jump scares and hor that kind of horror, uh, Silent Hill was more about, like, psychological horror. So, they're both different types of horror. Not, not one. One is not really better than the other. It's just, you know, it just comes out of the preference. Alright, so let's jump right into it. We're going to play on normal. So, Harry had been taking his daughter Cheryl to Silent Hill for a vacation. However, he ended up crashing his car, and now Cheryl has vanished. So he needs to look through the foggy streets of Silent Hill to try and find his daughter. This game was kind of unique with that. Like, a, a father just trying to find his daughter is like a, the quest of a video game. At least around this time period, anyway. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. Alright, let's see if I can remember the controls. Alright, so that's the quick turn. Can walk left and right. Hold on, I know there is a back step button. I just, I can never remember it. Oh, oh, that's it. You gotta push the run button and back to do, like, a back step. That's right. Okay, we're good. Footsteps. Cheryl? There she goes. Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! 
Oh, let's chase after her. Don't know why she's running off on her own, but... Get back here! Beware of dog. Oh. Oh my. What the? What is it? <clears throat> Whatever it was bled a lot. <clears throat> I love the camera angles here, by the way. Especially this one. I always felt like it's someone watching you as you're going. Rather than a camera angle. This game has some cool cameras. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. <clears throat> look, look at this. This is so cool. A broken wheelchair? What's this doing here? Uh, a bloody gurney? What's this? I have a bad feeling about this, Harry. Blood's getting worse. What is this? What's going on here? Uh-oh. We don't have a way to fight to defend ourselves. So we just gotta let him kill us, I'm afraid. Yep. And down we go. Rip. Quick game. It's okay. It was only a nightmare. Oh. Hi there, officer. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. like to find out myself. Uh -huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. Hello, Sybil. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. 
I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. Yeah, exactly. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, officer. Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. All right, she's gone, and now we're on our own. All right, so a couple things to take here from the cafe. A radio. Is it broken? I can't hear anything. All right, it's select in this game to access the menu. All right, so we got a handgun, received from Sybil, holds up to 15 rounds. <clears throat> All right, so there's a kitchen knife, a health drink, another health drink, flashlight, and a residential area map. Uh-oh. That didn't look good. What's that? Huh. Radio. radio. What's going, What's on, going with on with that with radio? radio? I love that line. All right, we got an enemy, an air screamer. Okay, got it. This is not a dream. This is not a. What's happening to this place? I forgot he actually vo vocalizes that one. <clears throat> so that enemy was called an air screamer. <clears throat> Pocket radio. I'll take it. There are also dogs outside called groaners. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. On Finney Street. Alright, well, first of all, let's head south a little bit. Ah, that's a wall. So there's a health drink here. I'll take it. Now, while we're out roaming the streets of Silent Hill, uh, there are enemies that will randomly attack us. We're going to try our best to ignore them, though. Right. And gun bullets. There's plenty of room to run around, so there's really not much point fighting if you don't need to. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to head north now. We're going to keep going up Brahman Road. Now, when you're firing at an enemy in this game, you won't always hit your mark. Because unlike in Resident Evil, where you, you're you're dealing with trained police officers, in Silent Hill, you're just a regular Joe with no prior gun training. So even if you're aiming right at an enemy, sometimes your shots just miss. 
My car. Too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? Hope she's safe. There is a health drink to get from examining it, though. Okay, so now we're going to cross this side of the road. And over here is a supermarket. So there are some goodies in here. A health drink. Three health drinks. There's also a save pad. And a first aid kit. Pretty good find overall. us and let's head to back to that starting alley on Finney Street. Alright, so we go down this way. Yep, there's a groaner there. And another one. Excuse me, voice. So yeah, this was the same alley we went down not too long ago. Handgun bullets. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Midwich Elementary School. Okay. There's a steel pipe. Sketchbook cover. This picture, it's me. First picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. Yeah. Looks just like you, Harry. Alright, so we got two melee weapons now. A knife, hard to use but better than nothing. And a steel pipe. Three inch long steel pipe, long range but of limited use. Better than the knife. Alright, let's get out of here. So, let's head down all the way east down Finney Street. Because there's an item that we're going to need to get down there. With, with these air screamers, it's best to just kind of dodge and weave. Keep going. Okay, we made it to this car. And there's the key of Lion, one of three keys that we're going to need to find. And some handgun bullets. Okay, so 
There's a little alley that's next to Bachman Road, to the right of the cafe. That's where I want to go next. See, not this road. Down this way. Okay, then we're gonna go for this gate here that says off limits. And we got a basketball court. So here we have the key of Woodman. No relation to Woodman from Mega Man 2. And another health drink. Now, if we continue south... It leads to another tiny little alley that we're going to go down real quick. Down here is another set of two sets of handgun bullets. So we're now going to make a right. And we're going to go down the east side of Matheson Street and then go south on Elroy Street. There's a little bridge here. The key of Scarecrow. And another health drink. Buzz off. That's all we need from here. Health Soka. Okay, so that's Bach Road. State kit. All right. Just had to get past some rowners for it. Right. Let's go ahead and heal now. And there we have another health drink. Excuse me, Groner. Okay, so we need to come over here. Now, the road does end, but there are some notes here. 
Doghouse Levin Street. Alright, so we need to go north. House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it. It looks like a doghouse, which is weird because there's no dogs around. Alright, then let's go inside. Okay, another first aid kit. That's locked. Handgun bullets. More handgun bullets. And another health drink. Okay, so if you check this map here, something's written on the map hanging on the wall. Copy to the map. The keys for Eclipse. But we already have them. Key of Lion. Key of Woodman. And Key of Scarecrow. It's unlocked. What? It's getting dark again? What's going on? Alright, so another two health drinks on this picnic table. Alright, now I'm actually going to turn off this the... Oh, actually, no. Let's get our bearings first. Because I won't be able to look at the map if I have the light off. Alright, so, turning the light off. I know it's hard to see, but monsters are less likely to aggro from further away if you have the light off in dark areas. Not that it matters since they see me right now, anyway. I'm going to follow this until it curves at an intersection. Now we're going to go this way. And we're going to go north. Alright, this is eventually going to take us to a tunnel. Health drink and more handgun bullets. Okay, so now that we're on Midwich Street, we just need to. It's just a straight shot to Midwich Elementary School. Halfway there. there. Okay, and here we are. Midwich Elementary School. 